Hi, I'm Mark, Mark Paramore. I live on Mersey. This is obviously West Mersey Lifeboat Station. And I'm a crew member and a trainee helm at the moment. I do enjoy volunteering. It's a great way to be part of community, this community, and you get to meet lots of interesting people. And you get to train, you get to drive, and have a go on great stuff. And uh, no, it's good fun. Yeah, you, you do get a buzz out of it. There's, there's something you're giving back, and there's, you can't always describe it. Every time you, you go, it's a different feeling. Um, but yes, I do enjoy it. If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't have done it for all these years. It can be hard work. It depends what the weather's like. Sometimes on a nice hot sunny day, you've got somebody in the water. You can go out and it can be quite easy and good fun. But if you go out when it's dark, windy, wet, and rough and you've got a long way to go. You can be out for sort of three or four hours at the time. It can get very cold and it's quite physically demanding. Hence, that's why I'm so fit looking. If you get a rough job, um, did a job a few years back in a lot of wind. And you were, not necessarily at the time, but it can be the next day when you actually feel like you've been in a tumble dryer going round and round, you, you ache from head to foot. So yeah, it can be, it can be tiring at times, yeah. Benefits, yeah. Well, obviously, you get to you know use the kit, and it's uh, you know a great way to meet people and have a good time. There's a great team here, and it's good. You know, they're all friends, and sometimes people give us beer that we might drink after a shout. People from the crew usually came from nautical background. Now it's all changed. They come from all sorts of backgrounds. Um, you were talking to moment ago to a, used to be a fireman. And we've got a policeman on the crew, we've got a dentist and everything. So. They have to train people to do the job now, where years ago you always had a, a, a backing of a nautical um, theme. So the training, it's not, it's not terrible, but they do bring you up to a fairly high standard because you're using a piece of kit there which is pretty technical. Shifts, well, we, have a, we don't really work a shift as such. What we have is a pager, this is a pager, and we carry that with us all the time. There's a key on the, to the lifeboat station. If the pager goes off, wherever we are, we stop what we're doing if we can come to the lifeboat station. For a job like this you're never off unless you choose to be. I, I'm only time I come off call is if I go off the island. Other time the page is in my pocket or in the van so it's 24 hours seven days a week as I'm concerned. The lifeboat RNLI is funded by voluntary contributions. Um, they are quite well funded we've got some great kit um, but it takes a lot of money to keep that going every year and it's a lot of hard work for all the volunteers because we all do fundraising and um, we have a, a guild, they do a lot of fundraising and uh, they have to raise all the money that keeps all this working and tested and new. I don't think you can ever put a, a price on the benefit. Several things always jump to mind, but you're giving something back to people. You're going to help people who are in trouble. And that's a feeling that you can't, you can't get from anything else because they're in a position where they need your help. So when our pager goes off, I showed you earlier, we come in here, we put one of these on. These are dry suits, so they go on, obviously I'll take my coat off and my shoes off, they go on over our clothes, and we're, before we put the dry suit on, we put one of these on, which is like a woolly bear, we call a woolly bear, which is just like a great big baby grow, which is uh, fleecy lined, so that keeps you nice and warm and dry when you're out uh, on the sea. Now, I think probably the, the one that sticks out in mind every time anyone asks me is the one where we went for a, um, a, a youngster, he was probably about 12 or 14. Um, I think he was in a windsurfer or, or a little sailing dinghy and it had come north and he'd blown off and he was halfway across the river. And he was, he was cold, he was tired and he was very frightened. And when we put him out to give him back to his parents on the beach, she didn't need to say anything his mother, it was enough to see a look on her face, you know, he brought the child back and that I think probably sticks in my mind more than um, some of the other jobs we've done, but uh, they're all, they all stick in your mind to a degree.